Let's create some pending UI so that while the app is thinking and it's talking over the network that the user gets some sort of response. Because right now when I click this create button, literally nothing happens. Uh, if I didn't have JavaScript, if we weren't using any of this fancy new web development stuff, the browser would spin a favicon up here when you submit a form. And so the user gets some, uh, some, fun, some feedback. But when we start doing stuff more in the browser, all that feedback goes away by default. And so it's our job to, to add it. But I, I like it because we can actually put it in context. You know, you click this button down here, do something down lower in the UI. It's not always obvious that the app is thinking looking up here. Uh, so instead, we can stick some pending UI right here on the create button. So this is where we're starting to get into some client side stuff. I'm going to bring in a thing called use navigation. And this comes from uh, Remix Run React. I've already got it. I think I've already got it imported up here, actually. Yep, there it is. Uh, and I'm doing use navigation so that it tells me everything about uh, a pending navigation. So we're redirecting here. So that's creating a navigation from the server. But now in the client, we can, we can look at that kind of information to and decide what's going on. I actually don't want it in the top component. I want it down here in my new board component because that's where my button is. So I can just say use navigation. And then down here on create, I can say uh, navigation dot um, location. So this, this location might be there, it might not. Let's look at the, uh, the type on here. So if we look at, sorry, you know what? Let's just, let's just finish it off because I'm gonna change this anyway a little bit. Um, so if there is a navigation dot location, it, oh, that's, this is the type I was looking for. Um, it might not be there. It might be there. If it's there, that means that a pending navigation is happening. That means that Remix is fetching data for the next page. And uh, so you can put pending UI on the current page to let them know that the app is thinking. So if we've got a new page going over here, we can say uh, creating. Otherwise, we say create. And this, this isn't correct yet. I'm going to fix this. I'm going to show you why this is kind of wrong. Um, but uh, let's slow down our network so that we can actually see what's going on here. So this one, I guess we'll say work. And then this button should flip over to say creating because this hook is going to return new information. It's going to return that navigation.location and then we should be able to see creating. So here we go. Yeah, much better. So now I get some actual uh, uh, feedback. I like the dots too. I don't know, just tells you it's thinking. So what's wrong with doing it this way? The problem with this is, now watch, when I click the forward button, <laughs> it says, says creating. Whoops, that's not what I meant to do. Uh, so the problem is I'm just kind of like grabbing just any navigation here. So what I want to do is figure out more specifically this navigation. So um, there's a few other things dangling off of this. We've got form action, form data, form ink type. Um, form action is whatever action the form posted to. You won't always have something here, uh, but we have a form. It doesn't have an action on it, but we do know that our route is the home route. So we know that the format, we, we could add it here. We could say action is home, but we don't need it because that's the route that we're in. So uh, add it, don't add it, it doesn't matter. But down here we can say uh, if the form action equals home. So that tells me that I'm posting to the home page and the only thing we do so far here is navigate uh, or is create boards and then navigate. So this will work great for our current app, but this also might be a little bit too broad. If we start adding more form actions here, if we had more than one form on the page, we don't, but we, we probably will in the future. Uh, like if I added delete buttons here, then the form action will be the same. Now, if I click to delete here, then this would say creating. So that's another thing that we don't want to do. So we're going to get even more specific here. And this is a convention that I personally just like to use. And uh, I'll, just, I'll just dump a hidden input in here. Oops. And its name is intent. Uh, so I like to say, because we'll see in future videos, I like to handle a lot of actions in the one uh, action there. Um, 
and then I can say value is uh, create board. Um, and then down here I can check, do I have, uh, let, let's do it up here so that it's a little bit cleaner. So I can say is creating, I can say navigation dot form data. Do I have form data? And is the intent create board? Then that means I'm creating a board. And I'm in the new board component, so I don't have to get more specific with this name. I can just say is creating. And then down here, simplify this a bit. I can say is creating. So now this will limit it strictly to this form that's being posted. You just stick a little bit of information in the form data and away you go. So if I click forward now, yeah, that's what we wanted. So this button is no longer flipping over to the pending state. Um, it's just being what it should be.